Welcome back, everyone. Brand new Cabral Concept. This is episode 3056. Excited to get started on a new simple way to calculate your cardiovascular age. This is actually a huge breakthrough, to be honest with you. It used to take going to your cardiologist, having specific uh, not just lab work run, but actual uh, machine-based lab tests run with tech support in order to be able to figure out the elasticity, the stiffness of your arteries. And now a simple wearable device is able to do this. So I love sharing these breakthroughs, not because I'm affiliated with any of these companies, but because this is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, we're able to do all of these amazing things now with early cancer detection, with the full body MRIs, with uh, even at home things like the Harvard step tests, all the things that I teach inside of high performance health. But just using now your Aura Ring, and I have no doubt that, because again, I'm not affiliated with any one of these companies. Um, they, I'm not a spokesperson for any of these companies. You can use Whoopstrap, you can use Fitbit, Fitbit, you can use the Apple Watch, you can use the Aura Ring. But Aura Ring is the first one to make this specific breakthrough, at least to my knowledge. And I like to stay up to date on this. So like, I wear an Aura Ring, I wear an Apple Watch. I've told you before, I, I switched back from the Garmin to my Apple Watch, um, mainly because of the motivational aspect of it. It's simpler than the Garmin. I can track my runs, I can track my bikes, I can track my walks, but I love being able to close those three rings every day. I'll link up that podcast if you're not familiar with it. Head on over to stephencabral.com slash 3056. And I wear the Aura Ring because even though I think the Whoop Strap is great, um, I don't want to wear one more thing and going to bed, I like to take off my watch, I like to take everything off, but I wear the Aura Ring for sleep and I think it's great for sleep tracking. But I also put everything on airplane mode. So if you look at my watch, there's a little airplane on it. I put my aura in airplane mode. It's simple, it's easy, and it still collects all the data. Anyway, I don't want to, I want to share with you though this big breakthrough. So the big breakthrough, because it's been around, it's called pulse wave velocity. I might refer to it as PWV today. But this, which used to be more complicated machines at your cardiologist office, now can be done just through the aura ring. All right. It's for anybody who has a Gen 3 ring. And again, if you don't have this, it's okay. I still want to share with you, with you the information and other ways that you can car calculate your cardiovascular age. In the future, it's going to get much more specific. For right now, it's going to be five years or more younger than your cardiovascular age. So great. Uh, at about your cardiovascular age, meaning chronological and cardiovascular lineup, or not as great, and that's more than five plus years, your cardiovascular age. Obviously, all of our goals, the lower the better. That's what we want. So let me now take you through it. All right, so cardiovascular age is the health of your cardiovascular system in relation to your actual age. So remember, I've talked about before your biological age. You can actually take your biological age. You can find that at stephencabral.com slash, I believe it's bio dash age. Let me see if that's correct. Well, why don't I do this? I'll link it up today at stephencabral.com slash 3056. Okay, so your cardiovascular age basically is an estimate using this new pulse wave velocity and evaluating age-related changes in the shape, so the format basically, of your heartbeat signal which carries information about the actual stiffness of your arteries. So the Aura Ring or Whoop Strap or Apple Watch or any of these devices will be doing it actually through shining a light, which is already present in these devices, through the skin and actually look at the arteries themselves. So pretty fantastic. So younger arteries though, they're less stiff. That's really what this is looking at. They're more elastic. They can expand and contract with more ease based on blood flow. So as we age and we start to develop health issues, our arteries can begin to stiffen and lose some of their elasticity. And because of that, the energy of the heartbeat can become a strain on the internal organs. So cardiovascular age, or just CVA, is affected by a number of factors that includes our diet, so anti-inflammatory diet or not. Um, it looks at our diet, our cardiovascular fitness, our exercise, genetic predisposition, our blood pressure, our cholesterol, and our uh, whether we smoke or not. So really important. Okay. So the goal, of course, is to say no matter where you are at your age or above your age, that we can reduce it so that your cardiovascular age 
is below your age. So for example, if you are 48 years old, you would want yours to be sub 48, right? Ideally 42 or even less, right? That's really what you want. But if you're 54, then we know, okay, we're moving in the wrong direction. What do we need to do? And I'll do another show on how to improve, of course, your cardiovascular age. I won't leave you hanging in terms of, oh, I don't have a great readout. What can I do? Well, we'll give you what to do in the future. All right. And so here's how they calculate it. So the Aura Ring, and again, no doubt the other um, biometric devices will do this as well. So stay tuned or just look, just say, hey, does the XYZ device look at cardiovascular age? And I have no doubt that within the next six months, they'll do it as well. So we just like to be on the cutting edge here. All right, so it's going to look at 14 nights of data. So that's what it does. So it'll look at 14 nights of data from the past 30 days in order to calibrate its first baseline reading. Then after the preliminary baseline, it can change as your nighttime data accumulates. Remember, all of these devices get better the more information, the longer and better you use them. So your heart rate variability will become more adapted to you based on the more nights that you're getting data, especially from Aura, because it's a nighttime-based reading. So wear it as consistently as you can, your ring, the watch, et cetera, in order to get a good calibration. I already shared with you exactly uh, where you want to be. Lower than your actual age, that's minus five years of your age. Your actual age, that's basically within plus or minus five. And then above five is higher than your actual age, meaning uh, a poor outcome for cardiovascular age. So each heartbeat, so let's get a little bit more technical, but not too technical, uh, produces a wave through the arteries. So the speed of this wave is called the pulse wave velocity. And it's measured in meters uh, per second. So when we look at that, that's going to be our outcome, uh, M over S essentially. Cardiovascular age uses the Aura Rings Gen 3 uh, PPG sensors to calculate its pulse wave velocity, which indicates essentially the stiffness and thickness of the arterial walls. And then it gets interpreted as an age estimate. So that, and then again, in the future, I would love it to say, well, if you're 48, maybe you have the heart of a 22 year old. So I don't want to just say good, right? I want to say, oh, wow, no, you actually have tremendous arterial flexibility and stiffness. They're not there yet, but no doubt within the next couple of years, I believe that they will get there. So faster pulse waves are associated with less flexible arteries and a higher CVA. So believe it or not, you want a slower wave. It has this expansion through the arteries. It's not just kind of blasting through. Okay, so let's say that you don't use an aura ring or you might be asking yourself, well, how else can I get my cardiovascular age? One, you could ask your doctor to do a pulse wave velocity test, so that is possible. The second, there's other tests called the augmentation index, and you can look all of these up, and that's doing with that's looking at aortic pressure in your heart. There's a cardio ankle vascular index. Again, all of these would have to be done with your doctor, but that doesn't mean that you can't ask, especially with a cardiologist. The carotid intima media thickness, which is one that looks at the actual arterial stiffness and assesses the thickness of the carotid artery walls and can actually indicate the presence of atherosclerosis, right? So that's an important one. So a lot of times that can be done, uh, it can be done with an ultrasound, a uh, carotid artery scan, and that's a good thing to have done anyways. We talk about that in high performance health, especially if you're over the age of 45 years old. And the last one is a brachial ankle pulse wave velocity. And so this is one that actually looks at the brachial artery in the arm and the ankle. And so that's, again, this is something we talk about in high performance health, because when you're looking at your carotid artery, which is great, you also want to look at your peripheral artery, which is the one in the ankle that allows for blood flow to flow as well. This is important for blood pressure, early blood pressure detection uh, issues, cardiovascular issues, and much more. So augmentation index, uh, cardio ankle vascular index, carotid intima uh, media thickness test, the brachial ankle pulse wave velocity are four others in addition to the pulse wave velocity test. Hopefully this was helpful. If you want to see how to actually do this inside of Aura, I will link that up at stephencabral.com slash 3056. Like I said, I don't work for Aura, uh, but this is the device that I use. I think it's a great device, especially for tracking your sleep. And it's now able to give you even more data based on your overall health, namely cardiovascular age. So hopefully this was helpful. And thanks everybody for tuning in. As always, share the show with anyone you believe it could serve and all the details and links will be at stephencabral.com slash 3056. Take care. 
Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.